Hey, welcome back to What CKC Wants. I'm CKC, aka Nikki, and in this video, show you how to make a rhinestone template using Inkscape. Inkscape is a very powerful open source program. You're just doing just the tiny, tiny tip of the iceberg with this program, but it's nonetheless it's an amazing program and. I'm going to show you how to make your own template so this is the goal the image will be a five inches width four inches height rhinestones will be a ss10 which that is a three millimeter so let's jump in we're going to import our image And we're going to keep everything as it is, default, resolution, audio, auto, none, press OK. So here's our heart and we're going to either right click and do trace fit. And what this is going to do is going to make it into a SVG file item so we can edit it and add stuff because currently this is just a PNG. So now we're just going to go to, you can leave it as it is, single scan, but I like to do multiple scans and you're going to click apply. Now you have your black heart. Haha, <laughs> black heart. And we're going to move this over. You don't need the red heart no more, so we can delete that. Our next step now is to resize it. So we're gonna go up to our measurements here. We're gonna change it to our inches and we're gonna do five inches, four in height. And now we want this is our page layout. We want this to be the same size as that. So I highlighted, I selected my image. I'm gonna to go to File, Document Properties, Resize to Page Content, Resize to Page Drawn or Selection. Boom, we're done. So also, before I move on, I want to change the color of my heart. And I want to change it to something that's a total contrast, contrast to the um, to the yellow. So let's not go back to the red we started, but more or less like a, a darker color. Next, we're going to go to path, object to path. That way, when we get our our circles, it will go inside here. So now that we have our path, we need a background. So we're going to go pick our square and um, we're going to just square this out. Again, I'm going to change this color into a, a neon. And I want this to be on the, I want it behind the heart. So I'm just going to go to object, lower to bottom. That way, my heart it remains on top. Next, we're gonna go to our. I'm gonna make this up just a little bit. So now we're gonna make our rhinestone size. So we're gonna go to our circle button. And quick tip: if you press Control and hold it down, it will come out. It will make a perfect circle, just like that. Now we're going to resize that. We're going to change it from inches to millimeters. And we're going to just do three. And we're going to lock it. Next important step is to go in to your file, right click, unset fill. And what unset fill is, 
it will match the colors that it is on the object. So before we do this, so now we move our circle inside the blue square. Our next step now is to go to edit, clone, clone create tile, create tile clones. And this is what's going to have all your um, circles be all over the place. So to make sure we have everything situated, you want to go to shift. You want your shift X to be 40 in the middle per column. You want your Y to be 40 under per row. The rest, leave it as is default settings. Your rows and columns, I know this will be 26 in rows and 33 in columns. Once you have everything together, press create. Now we can see the difference. So now you see like if I zoom this in, you see all those little dots scattered around it. It went into the colors that were inside. Boom. So now our next step is to remove all this. A quick um, for Mac users, if you have um, a Mac, you just press command F and that will put up your find. So we want to have the find find me all the blue. So I'm going to go to my fill, right click, color copy. In the find section, I'm going to right click and paste. And I wanted to find that color code. I want to search, I want it in properties. Leave everything else the same and press find. Now it, it has selected all the colors, it, could, it selected all those items. I'm going to right click and I'm going to press delete. Boom. Okay? Now it's just about easy cleanup. And this you're going to want to, this is, I want to say, the most time consuming thing is to do the cleanup and it also deleted my regular heart and I'm just going to clean up Because this is this is your template. And the reason why I picked the opposite color is that you can see the difference. Sometimes if it's blended, you can use your best judgment to figure out what stays, what goes. But first, get all the obvious colors. You might like some of them where they are. This is your decision because this is your template. But just remember that once you finish this, you cannot change the size. You cannot delete it. If you ever have downloaded one of those pre-made designs, um, rhinestone templates, they always say to reach out to the designer so they can make adjustments. You are the designer, so you have to make the adjustments that's best for you. Okay, so I'm going to just zoom out. And see how I like it. Um, I can tell right off the bat. Some just don't quite fit.
Okay. So, for all intents and pur purposes here, I have liked my finished product. Now we're going to just finish this up. And to do so, oh, go back. No. To do so, our next step is to put back another background. So I'm going to go back to the square and I'm going to click on blue and I'm just going to have the blue be behind it. Go back to objects, lower to bottom, boom, you have that. I also recommend to make a, um, a note to yourself about your measurements because I have noticed with design space it has resized it when I did not ask it so I'm going to put um, image size 5w for and height that's that so to have this mesh together, you're going to select all this. You're going to go to Pass, and you're going to click on Exclusions. And this is going to make your template hole, all the holes. So when you upload to Cricut, it will recognize that all those empty spaces are cuts. Give it a moment. Obviously, the bigger, the more complicated, the longer it may be. So just be patient. Boom. There you have it, people. You have your own rhinestone template, and then you're gonna just Save as, name it how you want it, okay, and in the next video, oh no, let me show you what it looks like when you go on to design space, so bear with me here. Okay, so as you can see, um, it just enlarged it into a 14 by 11, which no one asked it to do. So now here you would unlock it, change it back to your five and your four. And now you have your rhinestone template it's ready to be cut out through your Cricut. So you'll go through your regular steps. Back in my previous, I showed you when you cut out your own rhinestone template. I'll leave a link in, in below to show you how to finish the rest of it. But this is how you make your rhinestone template. I hope you guys found this really helpful in the process of creating your own design and making your vision come true. Stay true to yourself, be your own hero, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.